It has been so hot, so dry here in North Florida, about to fire up this irrigation to give these peanuts a drink of water. But I'm gonna fly the drone here in just a minute and show you guys how bad it looks compared from the irrigated to the dry land. The wind's blowing, but it doesn't feel nice because it feels like it's just hot oven air hitting you in the face. All right, well that battery's charging. Let's step out here and we'll look at the good peanuts. So these are irrigated peanuts. They look great. We're trying to keep, you know, inch and a half at best. Peanuts, uh, when they're pegging, putting on uh, peanuts, you know, you really want, you know, two inches would be great per week. Let's pull some up, take a look at them. Here they are, and honestly, they don't look very good at all. I figured we'd have more peanuts on them than what it is. So I can't blame it on the uh, dry weather. Now, it has been hot, but uh, these are irrigated peanuts, but I would expect they would look a little better than this, but who knows, maybe it's just the spot that I picked. Three tons per acre would be a phenomenal yield. That maybe looks like 200 pounds. Not 200, two tons. Gosh, I hope it's better than 200 pounds. We're at the motor now, let's see if she's gonna fire up. here to the panel box and get it going. The old trusty GoPro drone. You can tell those peanuts look pretty good right there. That's because the irrigation on that field, which is cotton, chunks all the way over here. But you can tell exactly where it quits over there. All right, drone should be powered up. It is. The magic button. All right, about to put her up in the air. We'll take a look at these peanuts. It's churning up dry, no rain in the sky. Weather man says no rain inside. All right, thank you for watching WKRP. Take a look, guys. It is going to be dry. No rain until November. The sun is shining, and no shade to be seen. My crops are brown, they used to be green. Looks like to come in with a record setting temperature today with over 110 degrees. Well, it's a scorcher. Well, there. you can't make a farmer happy. It's either too wet or too dry. And my day started out just perfect until I got Bravo in my eye. Crops are burning, I gotta find the wheels churning on this Florida sugar sand. Oh no, I got another irrigation to pump water out of the ground. And I know I told you, baby, I'd buy you a diamond ring. That one you've been looking at and talking for a while. But you know we've had a real bad year on the farm So I bought you a cubic zirconia And I hope that you don't mind but Look at it, it shines I hope it fits just right Well you can't make a farmer happy It's either too wet or too dry and my day started out just perfect until I got Bravo in my eye. Crops are bad. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that drone footage. The biggest issue you have when you have an extremely dry year in peanuts, if it gets so dry, the peanuts will, will turn loose in the shell. And then you run the risk of a uh, what's called like a seg two or seg three peanut, which is pretty much uh, like a crackhead of peanuts. You get way less money for a seg two or seg three, so we definitely don't want that to happen. That's why rainfall is crucial. When we do pick this field, we will separate the dry land uh, from the irrigated because we don't want to mix the good nuts with the bad nuts and have uh, and run the risk of like a whole load of peanuts going seg three. Hang in there, buddies. Hang in there. I know it's hot. I know it's hot. So I just came up here to uh, the Turner field, get this irrigation going, and man, this little dry corner here, probably the worst dry corner I've ever seen. And I'm saying that honestly, that's no fluff. 
This looks terrible. These peanuts are a little bit older than the field we were just at. This corner obviously doesn't get any irrigation and these peanuts, they're toast. And you even pull them up. Actually, don't look too half bad. Gone. Does not look good. We can pretty much cash these in. A walk out here is pretty interesting. We had a uh, sprinkler on the in gun which we did a video on it maybe two three videos ago but you can tell there's just a huge circle around the field you can definitely tell it now where it wasn't getting water so i'm getting now into the irrigated peanuts now look a lot better than those but you can tell up there that's where the sprinkler was messing up It kind of quits up there. I don't know. Weird. So draw a straight line right where it's at. Doesn't look as bad as these on the end, but doesn't look the best. Man, these on the end look terrible. Daggum pimple on my neck. Freaking hurts. But yeah, these look rough. Look at that. It's dead. Nothing. Parched. All right, gonna head to another irrigation we got that actually goes across the road. Check it out, and it's got a pretty bad dry land spot in it as well. Look who I found. What are you doing? Hunting my cigarette lighter. You can't find your cigarette lighter? <laughs> no. Oh, bad day. <laughs> no, actually, I'm pushing trees. Pushing trees? Yep, trimming hedgerows, pushing trees. As you can see. Yep. Good little wad there. Yeah, that's just one tree over there. That's one tree. That's the one that was right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a bad spot coming out right there. You can't hardly see nothing when you're coming down to the dirt road. You will be able to when I get through. But yeah, I wish, yeah, we need to get corporate up here to look and see if he wants the rest of them. Mm-hmm. So if I ride home with you that way, we'll have the up here. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go fly the drone. All right, I'm gonna see if I can light the cigarette on the turbo. Poor Kiki, hot, sweaty. Don't even have a light for a cigarette. Okay, about to put the drone in the air. We've got a little spot here where these two pivots uh, kind of meet. There's a little small little spot where it gets no water and boy, you can tell it. everybody well it's the next day here we are yet again in this cotton field it's got a rinky pivot on it and it just keeps on breaking this is the one that kept bogging down last week we changed the center drive on this tower brand new center drive uh, Saturday we had a tire come off the rim fix that then we had a drive shaft coupling that was broke which caused it and now we've got a wheel gear box that is uh, taking a dump on us. So we're walking it back to the road. Keefe's got it uh, fixed where we can at least walk it so we don't have to drive out here and destroy a bunch of cotton. Last week it was stuck way out there and we put uh, the center drive on the sprayer, drove the sprayer out there. So not fun. These irrigations, a blessing. Can't make a crop without them some years, but they can also be a curse when you're always out here working on them. All right, getting here right by the road. 
Okay, we got the pivot where we need it. Got to take the tire off, take the gearbox off. But Keefy, give us a quick Keefy's Corner. Keefy's Corner. We should ask Keefy's Corner. How did you fix it to where we could at least walk it to where we need it? All right, y'all, how you doing? Hey, um, basically what happened the other day, this pivot broke down on us, it stopped walking. We went to it and the center drive was burned up. As you can see, we got a brand new center drive on this mm -hmm. thing. This pivot's made maybe two passes since we put that on. Got to it today, this same tower had quit walking. Checked all the electric out, everything's good. So I got Jim to go to the pivot point and walk it while I'm standing there at it. And it was just bump, 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 and then it would lock up. So we had a gearbox locking up. The problem with that is it was 150 yards out in the field. Way out there. So, you know, if you got one locked up, it's not gonna move at all. It might move a few inches and then quit. So what we do on these things, or what I do, <coughs> is you locate the gearbox that you know is bad, and all you gotta do is take one drive shaft off, turn it with a wrench. You can tell which one's locked up pretty easy. Put a pipe wrench on the shaft. Take your drive shaft off. And this is your worm gear that goes inside that gearbox. Take these four bolts. I hate we didn't show you, get to show y'all me doing it, but you take the four bolts out right here. It holds this in. Do it on both sides. And then what I normally do is I take my hand and put on it and turn and tap with a hammer. Turn and tap, turn and tap, and it'll work its way out. You can't just knock it out because the gears. So as you're turning, you're letting them gears move too. Mm -hmm. But you can look in this end right here and you can see the carnage that's what happened the bearing bearing went out on this side yep and what happens is these little rollers will fall down in that gearbox and get hung in the ring gear and then it won't move man that'd make a nasty pellet i would not want to get hit with that for a for like a slingshot or something mm-hmm be nasty but anyway that way it lets this if you just take the drive shaft off most of the time the wheel won't turn even though the drive shaft's off because it's locked up so you get this out of there and uh not all the time but most of the time it, it'll let this wheel roll and one tire can pull it out of the field so you gotta drive out there yep that good that's perfect. Did a great job explaining that. Keep me corner. The old warm gear. Say whoever grabbed that tire knew exactly the angle it needed it. <laughs> Back on. Oh, there's my pivot. I was wondering where it was. Bam, there it is. Got it on. New gearbox. Got the tire back on. So now we can get it back walking, get back to watering. Thanks, Keefy, for the help. If you haven't noticed, Keefy and I do have matching shirts on today. And Keefe, where can they get these incredible shirts? I got mine out of the office. <laughs> no. Farmfocus.com. Com. Yep. Slash field road. Slash. Yeah, I think it is actually. Farmfocus.com. If you would like this. I mean, would you say this is the most comfortable shirt you've ever had in your life? They're, One of them? They're cool. Yeah. And comfortable in the summertime. But would you say it's the most comfortable shirt you've ever had in your life? Most definitely. Yes, most definitely. And we also have, if you guys farm peanuts, we have a I work for peanut shirt. Or if you just like peanuts, or if you work for peanuts. Yeah, I don't even Check it out. Them. Yeah, you need to get, what did I tell you this morning? Yeah, I said, you, go to the store, you can get any shirt you want. Uh, we also have shirts at MacArthur Company there in uh, Malone, Florida, right by the water tower, can't miss it. I want a, I work for peanuts and either white or light blue. Yeah, I do need to, yeah, we only have black, so we should offer that in a different colorway. Yeah, black's too I light. need to mention that to Ben. 
Anyways, that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Until the end, Jesus loves you. Keep in the field, Rose. See ya. Bye. Focus.com.